Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on surface area. So let's have a look at a question. Find the surface area of this cuboid. So what we have to do is we have to work out the area of all of the faces and then add them up. So this is like a dice, this shape. So there are six faces. We need to work out the area of all six and then add them up. So let's begin. Let's call this the first one, number one. So number one is, you can see, eight across and ten up. So the area of number one is eight times ten, which is eighty centimeters squared. Okay? Let's call number two this one on the side. So number two, three across. You can see there it's three across. And again, they're all 10 up. So it's 3 times 10, which is 30 centimetres squared. Right, let's call number 3 the top side. This is the one people find quite hard, because you can't really see the side lengths. But this one here is the same as the bottom one. So this is 8. And this one going back is the same as this one going back. So this is 3. So the top is 8 times 3, which is 24 centimetres squared. So we've now found the three sides that we can see. We must now work out the three sides which we can't see. So let's call number 4 the one at the back here that you can't see. So number 4 is opposite number 1. So number 4 is the same as number 1. So it's also 80 centimetres squared. Let's call number 5 the one on this left-hand side here. So number 5 is the one you can't see on the left. Well, number 5 is the same as number 2 because it's opposite number 2. So number 5 is also 30 centimetres squared. One more side to go, which is the bottom. So number 6 at the bottom here. Well, that's opposite number 3, the top. So number 6 is also 24 centimetres squared. So we now have our six sides. 80, 30, 24, 80, 30, 24. And we now need to just add up all of those sides. So when we add up all of those numbers, we get 268. And for an extra mark, usually, the units, which are centimetres squared. So that's our first example of surface area. Now we're going to have a go at a different shape. So this is a triangular prism. So it's a little bit harder, because you've got to work out first how many sides there are. Well, this triangular prism has five sides. And we'll see what they are in a moment. Let's call the first side this triangle at the front. So number one is the triangle at the front. Well, the triangle is four across and three up. You can see there. So the triangle is four times three, but we mustn't forget to divide by two because it's a triangle. Four times three is 12 divided by two gives us the answer of 6 centimetres squared. Right, let's call number 2 the triangle at the back. So number 2 is the triangle at the back. Well, number 2 is opposite number 1. So both of the triangles are the same. They're both 6 centimetres squared. Right, let's call the bottom of the shape side number 3. So the bottom of the shape is number three. Well, you can see it's four by ten, because it goes ten back. So it's four times ten, and it's a rectangle, so it's just four times ten, which is 40 centimetres squared. Right, let's call number four the side at the back that you can't really see very well. So number four is the side at the back. This is often the one people get wrong. You can see number four is three down, here, and it goes 10 back again. So it's 3 times 10, 
which is 30 centimetres squared. One more side to go, side number five. Side number five is the big diagonal rectangle at the front of our shape, which I'm going over now. This is side number five. Side number five is just going to be five centimetres down and ten centimetres back. So it's five times ten, which is fifty centimetres squared. So now we've found all five sides. We've got six, six, 40, 30, and 50. Our job is now to add those numbers up. So we've got uh, 6 and 6, 40, 30, and 50. And when we add those numbers up, we get 132 centimetres squared. And that is our surface area. So have a go at the two practice questions we have here. And if you need help, get your teacher. Remember, the only thing is sometimes people get surface area mixed up with volume. You've got to make sure if it says surface area, you do what we've done in these two questions. Good luck.